Hello, everybody, and welcome back to another exciting episode of The Grew Room Show. For The Grew Room today, we got two very special guests, and we have director Robert Rip, Rip Burt Berger and amazing actor Boo Boo Stewart. And he stars in the horror thriller film Those Who Walk Away. And Robert, of course, is the di director, writer, and producer of this horror film. Robert wears many hats in this film, and Boo Boo is outstanding. And I'm really looking forward to, to talking to both of them about their experience filming this and everything else. I am Morocco Cross. I am the host that stutters, and I am the host of the Guru Room Show and my interview with Boo Boo and Robert from Those Who Walk Away is coming up next. And okay, guys, um, welcome welcome to Gru, and thanks so, so much for taking time out and coming on the show. Thank you. Yeah, thanks for having us. Thanks, man. Thank you. So, like, the, the first thing I wanted to... To, to to ask to ask you guys because you know my show deals a lot with like horror as you could see and <laughs> <laughs> um what are some of your all-time favorite horror films <laughs> you go you go, you go. <laughs> I, I, I love friday the 13th i love friday the 13th i i have all the movies i collect all the, the memorabilia the six scale figures I really, really, that's my favorite slasher. Um, I love, uh, but I, I was saying earlier, like I love, you know, Guillermo del Toro, Toro's work. You know, that's fantasy horror. Like I love his aesthetic that he puts onto screen, like Pan's Labyrinth. And um, there's a film called Climax that I really, really love that yes. definitely has, that is hor horrific, you know? <laughs> <laughs> you know, like, for sure, like all of the Gaspar and his films are, they're all like that. I love those. Um, yeah, many realms of horror. I love. Okay, I, sweet. And for for me, I mean, The Shining is just one I can go back and rewatch over and over and over. Um, and then you know, I guess more on the slasher side, Texas Chainsaw Massacre. I, um, yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah, there you go. It's Leatherface. Okay. <laughs> I thought it was, I didn't see the whole thing. I didn't, I thought it was uh, Jason. But, but okay. my goodness, I mean, especially the, um, especially the remake, I just thought they did such a good job. Mm -hmm. And, you know, whenever I go to haunted houses, I'm like, ah, like that's, you know, not so scary. You start up a chainsaw, I am running. <laughs> <laughs> well, one of the stories was like that, didn't Michael Way produce the, the initial remake or something? And, they put everybody in a theater and turn the lights off with just a black screen. And they just played sounds of people running through a house with a chainsaw. Like that was oh like God. one of the things to get the movie made. Like, Are you I don't, serious? Yeah. It's some, some story like that. I read like Amazing. how genius. Amazing. Genius. Yeah. Don't have to put anything on the screen in this game. <laughs> <laughs> wow. I, I never knew that. That's I, I learned something and I'm like, <laughs> The horror guy and i learned something <laughs> it reminds me actually of the story of um james cameron wanting to make a sequel to alien yes and and they were yeah. like you know studio execs were thinking there was going to be like all these lookbooks and all these things <laughs> and he basically goes up and writes alien on the board and then adds an s and then puts a dollar and turns it into a dollar sign <laughs> like can't can't argue with that Exactly. <laughs> oh. so you guys are fans of like scary houses haunted houses and halloween time dressing up in costumes and all that certainly and not i'm not a fan of haunted houses though like honestly <laughs> or scare or haunted things i am not a fan at all i i love halloween i go hard <laughs> but anytime that i'm in a place that they're like this is haunted i'm like oh, why like why are we here like why what are, what are we doing here like this is not a good idea like i'm i don't want to be anywhere near this place i'm not trying to be ghost to my apartment i don't want them to come with me like i i'm like the opposite fan of like a haunted place i 
no, no, no. I cannot. <laughs> I've been in this situation. It's just like, guys, why? <laughs> Not even haunted houses? Not even like haunted hayride and Griffith oh. Park? Oh, I like that. I like okay, that. Okay. Yeah, okay. That, that's really fun. But, okay. but when it's like legit, when they're oh, like, yeah. this, there's ghosts in here. I'm like, yeah. why, guys? This is, you're just playing with fire. <laughs> Stop, please. <laughs> well, didn't didn't you play a ghost on one of the television shows? The, oh, when the I was younger. <laughs> oh, yeah. No, sorry. Julian the Phantoms. Yes. Yes, yeah. yes, yes. I was a ghost. A very nice ghost, though. I was not a mean ghost. <laughs> sure. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> so, um robert like what inspired you to to write this horror film those who 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 walk away yeah it 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 came from uh i mean one you know it was like let's make a movie uh, let's make a movie all in one shot start there uh let's also uh make a horror film all in one shot we're kind of looking at a couple different genres and i was like timing is so hard in horror films mm -hmm. like let's we really just tried to pack as much things on top of this as to make it harder and harder on ourselves um, and, 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 you know, keep it entertaining. And so, I mean, that was the, the initial, and then it led to, well, you know, let's look at like real life horror. Yeah. Let's look at like what it is to experience trauma and sort of live in that headspace um, and to sort of, you know, seek ref refuge in others, you know, whether it's like trauma bonding and, and the sort of, solace that can happen with that what happened with that or the explosion and um and yeah you you put those together and you know add a add sort of magical realism to it and um uh and then boo boo coming on board and yep. you know saying like how much further can we go with this and you know <laughs> amplifying the, the stakes and the chaos and um yeah and then something that you know we're, we're premiering tomorrow and really excited to, to share with the audiences sweet and Boo Boo, like what inspired you to to, to actually like want to play play the role of Max? Uh, so many things, honestly. Uh, the character itself, I love where he was coming from, what he was dealing with in his personal life. Uh, I just thought it I thought it was very interesting, and it'd be a ch great challenge uh, to just dive into his mind and just kind of work out all the bits that had happened to him that have led him to where we find him in his life. Uh, and what obviously he goes through, I thought was really interesting. Um, the idea that it was gonna be a one take film, I thought was crazy and absurd. And I, I was like, when will you ever get the opportunity again to do this, you know? <laughs> um, and um, what else? I mean, I meeting Rob, we, um, Rob and I, I don't know how this works. My headphones, but can you hear me now? <laughs> <It's all right. laughs> um, meeting meeting Rob, uh, we just instantly hit it off, and we had a great connection. And I just love the idea that he had written a film that um, with he had written a movie that allowed us to have no limits, like creatively. And how often do you get that? You know, like, where, when do you ever get sent a script where you're like, we can kind of do anything we want to do, like, in the realms of, obviously, you know, it making sense. But, yeah. Um, but yeah, there were so many factors that just played into, like, me wanting to do it. Sweet. And, like, for for a film this, this dark, like, it's a horror thriller film, like, how do both of you get into a, a headspace for something like for 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 you you acting in it and you die directing and writing and producing it like how how do you both get into like our headspace for for the film hmm. you want to start with it <laughs> yeah sure um it was gosh it was so many different ways um I really, I try not to, when I approach like a script or a character, I try not to be like, oh, this is how I'm going to do it. Like, <laughs> this is how I do it. I really try to be open. And I think a lot of it, at first I was really intimidated because I always take my hat off to people who are acting in horror films because mm -hmm. you're acting to a, something that's not really real. Like at the end of the day, it's someone in a mask or at the end yeah, of the day, it's true. like, you know, you're acting like you see a ghost. Like, <laughs> I, you know, I don't know. Like, it's just not, it's not tangible to me. Like, it's hard to like make believable 
And so I've always been super impressed with actors in horror films. Um, so I was intimidated and I was scared. And so the way Robin, the way Rob and I approached the character and the way he had written the character uh, beforehand, we approached it in more of a psychological way, uh, what he's dealing with mentally. And so honestly diving deep into like the trauma of what the character is going into and how that projects onto the rest of the film and like what happens to him. That's really where I was able to feel the most. Okay. And then it was a lot of like rehearsing and then after the rehearsals, like standing there and just letting the feeling of everything we just did kind of like soak into the bones. But then I'd mix it up with like, I would be on set and I would type it, I'd find like the scariest sounds like I could find. Nice. And I would just listen to them before the takes or before our one or two takes <laughs> that we would able <laughs> that we, we would have. And just so like really switching it up, there was a lot of, yeah, a lot of writing. I write a lot, uh, a lot of that. Yeah, and and as a director, you know, it's it's first, it's just kind of like quieting everything else around, but then also, you know, trying to kind of create like a collective space for everybody to do their best work, um, and you know that that comes just you know, and really showing to people that you like you really believe in them, and you know, it couldn't be anybody else but them, which is a hundred percent true, and um, and also, you know, in the scenes and you know putting things up on their feet especially when we did so much rehearsal is also still creating on set an element of of like controlled chaos that at any given time we may make a different decision and yeah. do something completely different right it was very you know when we were work when we were rehearsing and, and getting things going you know it, i'd always say to boo boo like we're not we're just trying out possibilities you know, and, and we'll see what works on the day. And, and so that sense of kind of liveliness, you know, that then allows actors to be a lot more present in the scene um, or sometimes just, you know, in rehearsals, uh, telling, telling Scarlett Sperduto who plays Avery, this time, you know, leave him, leave him, you know, like don't invite him to the bar. And then, you know, to kind of create that sense of like all these things are very, uh, are very real and the stakes are real and that things can change at any moment and um, uh, and also the freedom you know to explore within that. Sweet and what did what did you both love uh, about the film about shooting the film being on set for it like is there anything that stood out to you as like something you you like best about filming it? Um, I think one of the things for me that, like, overall, generally, like, uh, the, the feeling I felt, uh, it was such a family unit that we all had. Um, we, the whole entire, it was during COVID, so we all quarantined wow. together. Literally, it was such a small, we had such a small crew and cast because of, like, COVID reasons and yeah, other exactly. reasons that we all, we all quarantined together. Um, and we literally, we were just in this small hotel. Uh, all together and that was like something i really enjoy about like making movies the process of it is like uh the journey you get to go through and the experiences and the mental photographs and just like all the memories and i think that's so much fun and it just adds so much to your life and uh for this one in particular we just the mental photographs that i've been able to accumulate over the, the course of doing this and just the little moments here and there from everybody and just the family unit that we all made. I think that was like one, I think was the only way we could have made this movie. And two, just, it makes it that much better because everybody's really supportive of the other person yeah. cast and crew, like everybody. It was, we were just like one unit moving together. It was great. Sweet. Yeah. Um, and I'd say that the, the thing I'm, you know, kind of most grateful for about it is that we ultimately, you know, Boo Boo talks about the tremendous freedom, you know, that we had to explore ideas and try things out. And, um, and also, you know, yeah, with a, with a one shot and also even just with the, the sort of magical realism that mm -hmm. we, we get into, um, that everything was permitted, right? Everything was on the table. And, um, and we pushed that so far, right? And that uh, looking, it's like, this is exactly the film that we wanted to make. 
that you know that that there were no you know consensions or that this is exactly the way that we want it to be and exist in the world and um, uh, yeah and when you know sometimes when you're working on bigger things it's, it's harder to do that and yeah exactly. uh, on on this yeah really grateful for that nice and why do you think fans have 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 loved loved the film because I, I i saw like you you showed it on some film at festivals and you you got like a lot of good positive feed feedback from like the crowd that seen it and um like why do you think the fans are loving are loving the film i mean i think there's a couple different sets right we kind of are introducing this like very interesting new uh monster you know yeah. that that comes from like a very real place of like you know sort of touching and sort of rotting from the outside in and um and then also you know film lovers who just appreciate a one shot and the amount of you know, technical uh, uh, know-how and and you know finesse that it takes to to pull that off, and um, and then people who love horror films, you know, that that uh, that see this as something as something unique and and different, um, and then maybe you know if there's another category, people who are like, okay, I you know I, I appreciate films with a message, right? This is mm -hmm. horror, but it's also got yeah, got something a lot more to it. Nice. And how about how about you, Boo Boo? Like um with what's your thought on like why why fans would would love seeing the film no i agree 100 with rob i think there's so many things that people can connect with um dealing with trauma i feel like so many people don't talk about it and keep it inside and i think you know i that alone it hits home with so many people that i know um and i feel like there's just so many levels of that that can be connected upon um yeah, I think Rob totally hit it out of the park. You know, it's it's just there's so many things that th there's so many reasons why I like I like the movie. You know, okay. I'm a fan of movies, so I think there's so many little tidbits for like movie buffs and movie fans. Uh, the characters, uh, it's all just so well thought out and and room for exploration. Like past watching it once, you know, you can watch it several times and find new things every time. Sweet. Okay. And I am going to ask like one final final question about it, and um, the well, it, it's actually a question because, of course, I want the fans to know what what the film is. So, if if you could say what the film is uh, uh, about and why why you love it so much. <laughs> Um, yeah, I mean, the, the, those who walk away is really a, a film about, you know, how to how to cope with trauma and the real life horror of what it is to sort of exist in that headspace and navigate that headspace, um, not just individually, but with others. Um, and uh, and yeah, it's it's something that's, you know, very true to my heart and that, um, you know, definitely kind of put a lot of, of myself into the story. And um, uh, you know, I, I I hope it's something that that speaks to others. Awesome. And how about you, Boo Boo? Like, what what makes you love the film so so much? Uh, what makes me love the movie? Um, I think for me it's different because we made the movie. So it's like <laughs> what makes me love the movie is like the experience that I had doing it. Um. I, you know, I love the experience of what we all were able to accomplish. It's crazy to think, I remember to think back on like before we had gone through everything we did together, you know, just reading the script initially, I remember like reading it so much time after time after time and like Rob and I going back and forth with ideas and just like making it into what you see on screen and uh, just everybody putting in like their heart and soul, literally mm -hmm. like blood and sweat and tears <laughs> literally everything and uh that's what makes me love it because there's just so much went into it and the fact that we made something we're all so proud of it i'm just like blown away that we did it and so happy awesome and real fast um where can the fans find find the film back because the film comes out to tomorrow so like is it available on all like streaming streaming devices and stuff 
Yeah, you, you got it. So the film uh, comes out tomorrow, February 11th, and uh, it'll be showing for a week in Detroit, um, in Minneapolis, in Brooklyn, in uh, Chicago, and also at, in uh, Los Angeles, where we're going to have a, a little premiere tomorrow. Um, but yeah, it's just a quick Google search away and people can, can, um, can find it and, and watch, watch it really where, wherever they watch movies. Awesome. Well, I want to thank you guys again for, for, for taking time out and coming on the show and doing this. Cause I know you guys are loaded with people wanting to, <laughs> in, to interview you. So I appreciate that. Yeah. Well, thanks for taking yeah. the time. I really appreciate uh, Yeah. You, you, the conversation. Yeah, Definitely. Definitely. It's always good talking horror films and I like your uh, mustache boo-boo. Oh, <laughs> thank you. It's a work in progress. <laughs> we'll handle bar next time. Yeah. Give me a French little. <laughs> yeah. All right. Thanks, Rocco. Thank thanks you. so much. Thank you, man. Have a good one. Take, Take care. care. Bye. Bye.